Good morning from Shargao. Hannah and I are currently staying here at a resort called Soul Tribe Beach Resort. We have a few nights stay here in exchange for some video work we did last year. Today we're going to be going on sort of a land tour here around Shargao, going up north, going to some of the tourist spots and also visiting Burgos, uh, just checking to see what the update is now. It's going on seven months now after the typhoon hit, so we're just giving a little update. I know there's a lot of people asking questions if it's okay to come to Shargao now, is it going to be worthwhile to come here, how's the recovery process going, is there places to stay, stuff like that. If you're looking for a really awesome getaway here in Chargao, you can check out Soul Tribe. This is where we're staying right now just for a couple days. They have these really nice beach cabanas here and then a little swimming pool. It's a really nice place to relax and just get away. The beach is really nice. The sand is really fine. And yeah, Soul Tribe is about 10 minutes drive from General Luna. So it's not too far away yet it's far enough from like all the chaos in the city so it's a really nice place to relax and just enjoy yourself they are fully ready to be booking guests again they've done all their renovations and stuff after the typhoon so i'd highly recommend staying here at soul tribe go check it out here is a little tour of inside our beachfront cabana here so we have the bed air con little space back here here. My favorite part, the bathroom. Check this out. A wonderful outdoor tropical bathroom. You have your outdoor shower over here and then toilet. You're really in nature here. I really like this bathroom. And then of course you can just relax and enjoy here while you have the view of the beach. Breakfast time. I'm gonna eat breakfast real quick and then we're gonna head out. Here we go, about to leave the premises and head on our little road trip. We're locked in. <laughs> Heading to the north, to the north. Presenting Yoshi and Trina. Yes! This will be our first time again after the typhoon to go around North. Because it's so much fun when people see us. Like, oh, you know, guys, it's the, you guys are the reason why we go here. You're an influencer. Inspirator. Inspirator. <laughs> Presenting the one and only Miss Jusara. Here's an update on Coconut View. The first time we came here, there was like no branches or anything on the coconut trees. Now you can see there's like little baby branches coming out. Maybe in a few months it'll be almost you know like normal coconut trees but there's still a lot of coconut trees missing compared to before but it still looks nice <laughs> This is another famous spot to stop at here in Chargao on the land tour. This is Maasin River. This is where they have the diving boards here. They used to have a rope swing here. Then you can also take a boat going up to the end of this river and there's a small lagoon there where you can swim and enjoy. So this is fully open. A lot of people are coming here. From here, we're gonna be going to Magpupungko, but on the way there, you have the option to stop by Tayangbang Cave. That is also a really cool spot to check out. And it's open now too. You can go through the cave and then there's a sort of small cliff jumping spot there too. But we're heading straight to Magpupungko. Hey, coconut bowls. Hey, Wow, ganda. There's locals here that are selling souvenirs like here, coconut bowls. They make these themselves. So if you're interested in buying coconut bowls, this is a good place to buy them because we actually don't see them much in GL. They also have like shirts and stuff they're selling here. If you want souvenirs, you can buy them here at Maasin River. Hello! 
60 pesos per head, 5 pesos per motorcycle. So this is the entrance right here to Magpupungko. But you can search it on Google Maps as well. So you and then you pay 60 pesos per person, 5 pesos per motor and then I think once you go inside we'll have to pay parking for the motor. For the parking area it's 20 pesos per motorcycle. If you're using tricycle it's 30 pesos and if you're using van it's 50 pesos. Rack pool. And so it's, um, time check is 11.29 and the low tide is at 12.30 so we're perfect. So let's go! <laughs> As you can see here, there's a bunch of restaurants that are already open here along the beach at Magpupongko. Behind me is the rock pools, Magpupongko rock pools. What's really important if you come here to Magpupongko rock pools, you have to come during low tide or else there won't be any rock pool. So important to check when the low tide is when you come to Magpupungko. It's 11.30 a.m. And, lo and the lowest tide is at 12.30. So we came here an hour before it reaches the lowest tide. So nice to see other people uh, here. <laughs> Ayan ang ating friend. Boom, we just finished our food. We're still here at Magpupungko and heading to the next location. Woo! Now we're heading to, I think, Pacifico will be first and then Burgos. And then we'll see if we can go all the way to Alegria. But we might have to turn around so that we can make it home before dark. Yeah. But we had so much fun here at Magpupungko. Yay! Hooray for China, Yoshi, and Jess. <laughs> Driving through Pacifico now, we just passed the main beach surf spot and a lot of the places here are still pretty damaged. It doesn't seem like there's much repair going on. Yeah, it seems like all the restaurants and businesses here haven't rebuilt or done anything yet. This used to be a really good taco shop right here. Kind of sad to see they haven't done much rebuilding here yet. Wow, look at this. Oh my god. What the heck? That was a huge house before. We're coming to where one Tao used to be. We've seen in the photos that it's been totally washed out. Here it is. This is where one Tao used to be. First time damin to. This is where Wan Tao used to be a very famous restaurant, especially if you're traveling up north. You would stop here to eat. Now there's nothing here and I'm not sure if they're gonna do any rebuilding. But there's a lot of people still surfing here. This is where Wan Tao used to be. And there used to be a slack line right here. It's crazy, just months ago we were eating in this restaurant using their bathrooms here and now it's just overrun with all these plants. It feels like it's been abandoned for years but the typhoon just happened months ago. Here ye, here ye, we're going to the next spot. Off to the next location. I think Burgos is next. 
This is what's left of Isda Market, used to be a famous restaurant here in Burgos. But a lot of the town seems like they've been rebuilding a lot of the people's houses and Sari Sari stores, small businesses, seems like they've rebuilt here. From what I know also Burgos is known for having a lot of street murals, they have murals on a lot of the buildings around here. Here's what's left of Isda Market, a lot of people would come and eat here if they're going north. But if you're coming here to Burgos now, there's still a lot of, you know, little restaurants you can eat at and explore. A lot of the murals are still on the houses. So it's a fun stop to come here into Burgos. There's also an ice cream shop called Local here. They serve ice cream and then also some other food. They're not open today, but I think they're usually open now. If you come to Burgos, ask for the shop called Local. So this was just a quick drive through of Burgos. Now we're heading to Alegria, the nor most, most, the most northern part of the island and has a really okay. nice beach too. And then after that, we'll drive back to GL. is Alegria Beach. This is a really nice beach on the northern most point of the island. So if you're doing a little road trip, make sure to check out Alegria Beach. It's actually really nice here in Alegria now. They've built all these cottages and they have a little bar over here, some volleyball nets. GL now here at our place. In conclusion, the north trip, going the road trip up north and seeing everything, it was super fun. I mean, as someone that's been here before the typhoon, I could see some of the differences, but honestly, the places are just as beautiful. There's maybe a little bit less coconut trees around, but no nonetheless, everything was super beautiful still, a lot of fun to go. So if you're thinking if it's worthwhile to come here to visit the tourist spots, definitely worthwhile, a lot of fun still. Also, there's island tours that you can go on, island hopping, and different islands you can visit, and different activities you can do. 
So I think it's definitely worth it to come visit Shargao this year if you're thinking about it. And um, let me know if you want to have some updates here in General Luna as well. I would say General Luna is almost back to normal. There's so many restaurants open again, resorts that are open again. Let me know if you'd like to see an update video about General Luna. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope it was helpful and hope you enjoyed watching it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.